Our next comedian has some interesting observations for all of you tubaholics out there. See if this sounds familiar. Here's Mike McDonald. Mike! See, excuse me, every time they come up with something to make our life more convenient, all it does is complicates it. Perfect example is TV remote controls. Now everybody thinks, oh, they're so convenient, you don't have to get up, you don't have to do anything. Just sit there banging away on that thing. <laughs> but because of the remote control, I now have not watched a complete episode of anything. <laughs> Sit there banging away and everything. Because of the remote control, I now have the attention span of a gerbil. It's amazing. It's like, you sit there banging away and everything, you know. Like, they give you 50 choices. I have to know what's on every channel. Somebody could have you, you know, somebody could be having a better time somewhere and I've got to find it. Where is it? Where is it? It's amazing how addicting that thing, too. You know? It's so addicting, the remote control. I mean, you know how addicting it is when you misplace it. Instead of like a normal person changing the TV manually, you look for like three days. Like, where is the remote? Where is the... Where'd you see it last? Stop what you're doing and help me look for it. I lost my remote one time for six hours, had to phone a remote hotline. I could find my remote. Okay, just stay on the phone, man. We'll talk you down. Just stay on the phone. Take some deep breaths, man. We're going to send somebody with a loner. Just stay on the phone, man. Be cool. <laughs> Hurry up. I'm missing the movie. <laughs> you ever have somebody come over to your house and touch your remote? I find that very personal. <laughs> it's like, who are these people? It's like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> my house, my remote. I'll do the channel flipping around here if you don't mind. The nerve of the guy, God. I can't stand anyone else to have that remote because they're always so slow. It's like 30 seconds into the commercial, you're sitting there going. <laughs> Give me that, you amateur! As soon as you see the commercial, you're supposed to clip it. Oh, I'm sure you don't know that. I find a lot of men are very chauvinistic when it comes to the remote. You, know? I mean, you, you, you women know what I'm talking about here. A lot of men think it's their right to have the remote as soon as they come through that front door. Now, if any of you men can recognize yourself in this next bit, here's an image to change. Hi, honey, I'm home. Give me that remote. You're gonna break it! How many times have I told you not to touch my remote? There's a black and white in the den, go watch it in there. I can't believe her sometimes. Jeez. There's an image of change, guys, unless you want your bed set on fire. They've seen that movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love how men always act so surprised when their wives flip out and try to kill them. Well, what's her problem? Oh, here's the list, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Innocent Bystander had no idea what was going on. All these women at the hardware store is buying gallons of gasoline. You gonna mow your lawn, Mrs. Johnson? Yeah, that's it, mow the lawn. <laughs> They've got that glazed over look that says, I've taken too much stuff as it is. <laughs> now, I love how guys change their voices when they want something. Same guy, about an hour later. Honey, honey, can you get me a beer, please? Cause I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Come on, I love you. Mm, come on, honey. I'll let you touch the remote later. Come on. Yeah, one beer coming up. Oh, still mad about that remote, are we? Excuse me while I take the shards of glass out of my head. Any of you women got a guy hogging the remote on you, here's what you do. You go out and you buy another remote. You wait till he's watching his favorite program. Super Bowl Sunday, great time. Wait till he's watching the Super Bowl or something, you know? Sit down beside him, pull out the other remote, don't let him see it, and start flipping the channels. <laughs> He'll go berserk, what the hell's wrong with this thing, dude? He won't stay in the game! I'll be down in the basement with my tools trying to figure this one out, honey. Where are those Time Life books? <laughs> you ever been watching TV and have the cable go completely out? There's not anything you can do about it. You just sit there helpless going, Yeah. Honey, does everything else in the house work, huh? 
It's just the cable. Where's the cable? I'm telling you, the Russians ever want to take us over. Forget the bomb stuff. All they have to do is knock out our cable. We'd all be sitting there like zombies. Huh? They just come and take us away like that. You know? We have cable in the truck. Thank you very much. God bless. Good night.